Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about virtualization and virtualization technology. Today's video presentation has been one that I haven't done in a long time, and when I did it, it had a lot of other things included in it. But with that being said, it was a popular video. Today, I'm going to bring it to you in a container on a Raspberry Pi that is running Proxmox 7. With that, let's get to the video. So the first thing we're going to do now that we've logged into our Proxmox web interface is to create a container. We can leave this as an unprivileged container and move on, select our Ubuntu template. Now, if you don't already know how to get a template for a container onto your Proxmox server that's running on a Raspberry Pi, the process is a little bit different. Consider checking out the video on setting up an LXC in Proxmox on a Raspberry Pi. I will provide a link at the end of this video for you. So we're going to click Next, and let's turn this size down to 4 gigs. We really don't need the full 8. One CPU core will be fine. 512 megs of RAM will be fine. Network. So because PyHole is a server, let's go ahead and set up a static IP address. And finish by clicking Next through the rest of the setup portion to create the container. Now that we have set up our container, we can go ahead and start it and open the console. Log in with root. And now we can start the installation process. The first thing, as always, apt update, apt full upgrade dash y. Now the directions here tell you to use this line. Because we're in a container, Carl will not be installed. So let's go ahead and install it. apt install curl-y. Now we can go ahead and use the install command from the PyHole GitHub repository. Just copy and paste it in. Press Enter. And then press enter, press enter, select yes, and pick our DNS provider. Now, if you'd set up Unbound like we did in our previous PyHole video, this is where you would configure it to point to your local host. But today, we're not going to take that step. We're just going to choose a DNS provider. I'm going to go choose Cloudflare, but you can choose your favorite. We'll use the default block list. We're going to use the admin interface, and we want a web server. And I want to log, and I want to show everything. And we can click OK, remembering the IP address that showed here. So now that we're back at the command line, let's enter pihole-a-p to set our user password. And we can enter our password now. Press Enter and enter your password again. Now, your container is set up to run PyHole as a DNS server on your local network. To begin using this DNS server, you will need to point your system and your system settings to the server, or better yet, configure your DHCP options in your router or your DHCP server to point to your DNS server when it assigns your system an IP address. But we can now head over to our IP address of our server in our web browser and actually look at the web interface. Click login 
and enter our password. There you have it. There is a fully installed copy of PyHole on a Raspberry Pi running in a container hosted by Proxmox. I hope you enjoyed this video and the few others about how to set up a basic home lab server for basic home network functions using Proxmox on a Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you'd like to help us out in bringing more videos like this, please consider visiting our merch store at store.virtualizeeverything.com. As always, have a good night.